My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Got a good one here, 63 Chevy Impala with a 409. It's numbers matching, factory red car. It has had a body off the frame nut and bolt restoration. We've got a group of guys that have been coming through our museum every Wednesday for years. They came through, one of the guys bought this car for me five or six years ago and uh, literally just kept it in his garage didn't use the car, just admired looking at it. This is like a piece of jewelry. It is so beautiful. Not to say it doesn't run good because it functions like new as well. But the point I'm making, you have a group of guys coming through, they're car guys, every Wednesday, they spotted something special. So it took, I'm sure, the approval of the whole group to get the one person to buy the car. So it's got, got some thumbs up. You can go to volocars.com. You can read all the specs, study all the pictures, and that's where you find the prices on all of the collector cars that we offer for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can watch the videos, and if you click on the bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin in the 409. She's real fine, this 409. Yeah, it's just, it's just a piece of artwork. It's just so nice. So the body was lifted off the frame. It looks like the underbody had the factory undercoat. They prepped it and they painted it gloss red. It looks like it's all solid metal. The entire frame and chassis uh, was prepped and restored and painted, rebuilt. Every component was redone under the car. All the front end, the steering, the suspension, the shocks, the springs, the bushings, the, the center link, all of it was rebuilt. The brake system was entirely rebuilt. Uh, it has a really nice dual exhaust system with glass pack mufflers and it's bent neatly along that X frame and comes out behind the tire like it's supposed to. Uh, new fuel system, the tank, the straps, the sending unit, the fuel lines, the brake lines, all of that's been redone. You look up at the motor, it's still spotless. The Chevy Orange on the oil pan is clean. Uh, it has the correct screw in canister type oil filter, uh, correct starter, uh, the flywheel covers there, it has a power glide automatic transmission. So you can see it was restored back to factory, even the original style hubcaps and reproduction tires. So underneath the car is like new, on top is probably better than new. I don't think the paint jobs were this nice when it left the factory. I'm looking at a red mirror. Uh, according to the cowl tag, this car was born red, and it's slick. It is absolutely straight. The gaps are square and flush. Look how nice that hood fits. This is gleaming up here. All of the grill, the moldings, it's, it's better than good. It's like polished. It's beautiful. Correct T3 headlamps. Chrome uh, trim right here is shiny. 409 cross flags. The moldings. All of this stuff. Not just the bumpers, but all of this stuff is just pristine. I hate to say pristine because I don't want someone to say, oh, there's a nick there, but I'm not seeing any. I just wiped this whole car down. We pulled it out of our air-conditioned showroom and brought it in this sweat box we're working in right now, and the car kind of fogged up. So I wiped the whole car down. I didn't see any issues. The doors fit square. It's smooth all along the bottoms. It has the rear mount antenna. This window is crystal clear. Inside is all real nice. This hood fits square. Look at the tail lights, the tail panel. All of this is just like pristine condition. Yep, gas cap shiny. It's all painted. The little rubber bumpers are there. I knew it would be. It's just that nice of a car. The hubcaps are mint. And yeah, those are reproduction. Uh, Bias ply tires. I'm trying to read what brand they are. I don't see it. Door handles, rubber seals, bow tie mirror. The door just shuts like a new car. I love that. So easy to push in that button. Anyone can do it. You do it with your pinky. Windshield's crystal clear. 
it is the correct numbers, correct 409 motor, has the X on the front of the block, the codes on the stamp pad, the dates all line up nicely. Now 409 cars came with a slant top radiator, which this has, it has correct reproduction clamps, hoses, uh, the right chrome air cleaner, valve covers, the right stickers, the right glass fuel bowl, fuel pump looks new, power steering, power brakes, uh, the wiper motor, the alternator, all of it looks new. Batteries bolted down properly, has the reproduction spring clamp cables, firewalls all painted, hinges, bottom of the hood's all nice satin black with hood insulation. It's, it's beautiful. The jams are slick, the latches, the hardware, the rubber. Interior is amazing, looks like new. Inside the trunk, very solid metal, neatly spatter, painted gray and white, has a three-piece mat, has a matching reproduction tire. When a guy buys a fifth reproduction tire, he's not cutting corners, he's not trying to save money. Uh, so it was done right. Has the jack, the painted rim, everything is slick. The paint, the, the weather strip, all of it, show quality. So all the upholstery is redone, the headliner is a nice tight white headliner, the interior lights work, the visors, the mirror are mint. Down on the floor has a red and black speckled carpet with reproduction mats, door panel, armrest, window cranks are mint. I can tell you the dash is mint, it has the optional padded dash, the steering wheel is shiny, and it has the tachometer right on the dash. The factory tachometer. So the washer bottles hooked up. The steering mechanisms are right. Uh, everything about it. Plug wires look correct. Everything up here. The horns, all spotless. Factory AM radio. The lights work under the dash. So why don't we start it up here? Door jams, even up by the hinges, are beautiful. The trim across the dash is really nice. Inside the glove box is excellent. Even shuts and opens real easy. Under the dash is real nice. The fuse panel, the firewall pad. That hood fits perfectly square. Shows 4,700 miles. That could be since it was restored, but uh, I mean, it, it looks like it doesn't have four miles on it. And I know the gentleman we sold it to, I don't think he put 50 miles on the car the whole time he owned it. Uh, but this is nice. You look at all the bits and pieces and details. That's what makes it exceptional. It makes it better than most that are out there. Volocars.com is where you can go to talk to the salesman. I just gave you my impression of this car. Feel free to ask them any questions or concerns you have. They'll help you out the best they can. They can also get this delivered anywhere in the country. They can get you financed. Go to volocars.com. If you just enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.